Now we're going to show the, the motion of a true balanced door. Again, this is in plan view. What you're going to see is the vertical pivot shaft, the top arm here, the top roller, the fulcrum point. You're going to see the pivot hooking the uh, door to the top arm. And then the guide channel, that's shown dotted, and that's where the roller rolls back and forth to guide the door as it opens and closes. So as you're going to see here, when we put this in motion, a true balance door travels in an elliptical arc, not a circular arc. This pivot roller rolls back and forth in that guide channel, which is up in the underside of the head above the door. The arm rotates inward as the shaft rotates, and the heel edge of the door swings inward. And when it comes in the full open 90 degree position, it's almost touching the jam. In other words, it's not just taking a pivot point out here and turning it with a large gap between the door and the frame when the door is fully opened. A true balanced door comes all the way against the frame when it's in the 90 degree position. Another showing motion of the door in a live picture, a little video. Top arm, top pivot, this is that guide channel in the underside of the frame that the roller coming out of the door rolls back and forth in, guiding the door as it opens and closes. Now we're going to, next we're going to see the bottom of the door, bottom arm being thicker because it's carrying the weight of the door. Bottom pivot, again there's no guide down at the bottom of the door. This is a full actual door opening, heel edge swinging inward, arms rotating inward when the door opens and then comes back when the door closes.